Ah, uh, the texture pack. You either have one or you have a hundred. Texture packs have given players even more creative liberty and control over exactly how they want their game to look. They've come so far and there's so many ways you can go by designing one that I genuinely think that calling it anything other than an art form is wrong most of the time. Minecraft texture packs have such a wide variety to them that I guarantee there's something out there for everyone. There's no way to know for sure, but according to my calculations, there's a lot of texture packs out there. So the chances of finding the perfect one for you is possible. And even if you don't, creating even a basic texture pack is fairly simple. No, this video isn't a tutorial. I'm not going to teach you how to make a texture pack, or at least none of the fancy ones, because I don't know how. But I will break down some of the types of texture packs and give you some insight into how they're made, so that maybe next time you're downloading one, you'll appreciate it a little bit more. But before we get into any of that stuff, we must first answer the question, what is a texture pack? Well, duh, the texture pack is the pack that gives the game texture. No, but seriously, a texture pack is just a group of files that change the way your game is visually. And while I'm sure everybody watching this already knows that, I think there are some people that confuse texture packs with resource packs. A resource pack is sort of like a texture pack, but it changes more than just how the game looks. Resource packs can change textures, animations like walking, sounds, models, and even more. The reason I even bring that up is that texture packs are already very in-depth, and while I could talk about texture packs and resource packs and data packs and behavior packs, we're just gonna focus on one. But if you really wanted to make the game yours, you'd make the rest of them. But for now, we're just talking about this one. And now that we've entered that, we can finally move on to the fun part, making a texture pack. When making a texture pack, you must first ask yourself, why? Why and what? Why are you making one and what do you want it to look like? It could be anything. A futuristic adventure map, an underwater city, a medieval castle, space colony, shit post. It doesn't matter. The sky's the limit. But if you want a real example, I use a lot of green screens in my videos. Hell, I'm using one right now. None of the default Minecraft blocks work that great as a green screen, and I'm not placing a gajillion maps every time I want to use a green screen. So I use a texture pack sent to me by my friend that turns all the sea lanterns into a solid red, so that I can use them as my green screen. The resolution of the pack is 16, or 16 times 16, which is just the amount of pixels. It is also the default Minecraft resolution. Texture packs are really flexible, but 16, 32, and 64 are the most common, but there are more options than that. 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, I'm gonna stop here before my computer explodes, but you can go even higher if you wanted to. Check out these estimated requirements for this extra pack I found. It's an 124 pack. Look at this other 124 pack I found. You might be thinking, isn't this just the default Minecraft that boom, realistic puffer fish. Now that you know all that stuff, we can finally, for real this time, get into making a texture pack. I don't know how to make one from scratch, so I usually just download one from somewhere and make the changes I need. And if you're beginning, I suggest you do the same thing. Anyway, select your pack, open up your favorite photo editing software, pick your file, and draw. Be the brush. Repeat after me. I am an artist. I am the brush. The brush is I. We are one. Imagination. And once you're done, take a step back and admire your work. Are you ready to show us what you've made? Okay, go ahead. Oh, what the fuck? Congratulations, you made your first texture pack. Okay, okay, good job, good job. Now I'll get out of here before I harm you for hurting my ass. I'm not joking. Five, four, three, two. Texture packs fall into what I like to call levels, which each level offering something different than the last. And I will now quickly break down what I mean by that. Level one are the packs that probably anyone could have made. You only change one or two small things that improve the quality of life. Low fire packs, low shield packs, more visible hearts, invisible item frames, and more. Small stuff like that. These are the texture packs people have the most of and combined together. In level 2, you'll find texture packs that change most, if not all, the textures in the game. Sometimes people make these for fun, but other times people make these for specific uses, like map creators for example. They usually create a texture pack alongside their map to help give their map an extra layer of feel, which I really appreciate because imagine if this dark, gloomy setting with this twisted story look, looked like this, and your antagonist looked like this. You'd lose a lot of the spook pretty quickly. And finally, the level I'm most excited to talk about Level 3. Level 3 packs are interesting because not only do they change textures, they change the way you play the game. And my example ties perfectly into my next point. Did you know that texture packs could move? 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 No, no, seriously, check out this ender eye I found. I, it blinked at me, I swear. Any second now. Any day now. 
you know what? No, I'm not wasting my time on this. Now all the viewers think I'm crazy for talking to an enemy guy, and they're all gonna think, oh, it's just, it's just, it's just, Blink if you think my channel sucks. <gasps> with the use of some programs, you can animate blocks and items in Minecraft. And if you want to go even further, with the use of mods like Optifine and Sodium, you can even animate entities in GUI. What does this have to do with level 3 texture packs? Well, sit back and let me introduce you this monstrosity known as the Moving Blocks Texture Pack. Yep. While gimmick packs like this don't actually change the way you play the game, it still provides a little bit of a challenge to some players. Because I know me personally, if I had to sit through the entire world like this, I'd go crazy. A few of my favorite gimmick packs are this one, Randomized Textures, which changes the textures of each block every single day, Cubic, which changes all the blocks to white with their name on it, but I lied earlier. Oh, Elaine, could you rewind to like 5 seconds ago? Please? It's just that like that doesn't make any sense for me to walk all the way over there because when you're all it's just that it doesn't make any sense to end you're leaving. Uh, I don't even manage I'll do anything myself. <laughs> Randomized textures, which changes the textures of each block every single day. That that right there. When I said randomized blocks was a texture pack, I lied. It's not. It's a shader pack, which is actually the secret last level of texture packs. In order to use shader packs, you're gonna need a mod like Optifine or Sodium. I debated talking about shaders while making this video because they're sort of like texture packs, but not really. I also don't have much to say about them except for the fact that they make your game look pretty most of the time. But just like texture packs, they can mess with your game to an even higher degree. Okay, instead of putting the text on the screen, I'm gonna say it verbally this time. Motion, sickness, warning. I'm gonna show off a few of these shader packs while I end off. And some of these won't truly hit unless you're playing it for yourself. So, if you're up for it, I put the link for all the level 3 and 4 texture packs in the description. You can go to download them for yourself. And with that, thank you for listening to me talk about what most people would find boring. Hopefully I kept you entertained, and if you decide to try these out and combine them and make whatever monstrosity you want to, I want to see it, so I don't know, tag me it or something. But thank you for watching at, to the end. Hit the like and subscribe button, and while we're on that topic, I'm going to sound like an idiot because the script is over, but thank you for 100 subscribers, that's pretty cool, it means a lot. It, this is just a stupid hobby, and that, the fact that people want to listen to me talk about mods and texture packs is really cool. And if you guys want to keep seeing it, I'll keep making more. Thank you again. Bye.